I think it's very gratifying that such a company as United Technologies, one of the most respected technological-driven corporations in the world, with a leadership position across many businesses segments, has made a decision to invest here in Ireland. And the formation of UTCRC Ireland here at Hendel enables the parent company to establish a European research base, thereby creating strategic technological development presence in all of its main markets, having already been in the States, having already been in Asia, and now looking at Ireland and Europe. We have an unbelievable track record in foreign direct investment, and that uh, track record is admired internationally. And it's no harm to remind ourselves briefly that there are about 1,000 foreign-owned companies in Ireland conducting business on a global scale. We have nine of the top ten pharmaceutical companies. We have eight of the top uh, ICT companies in the world. And over 400 financial services companies are located here. Today we are now adding what is an extremely important prize to our list. And this investment announcement by one of the world's leading technology companies is a recognition of these na national attributes. And it has been secured in no small measure due to an initiative jointly funded by the Department of Enterprise, Trade and Innovation, by the Department of Communications, Energy and, Ra and Natural Resources. The decision by United um, Technologies Corporation to invest in applied research here underscores what the Irish Government's commitment is to providing an environment where industry and academia can collaborate to create sustainable economic growth through innovation and research. And Ireland's smart economy has as its very core an exemplary research, innovation and commercialisation ecosystem. And the objective of this is to make Ireland a global innovation and commercialisation hub. And we want to build up a reputation as a country that is an attractive home for innovative uh, R&D intensive multinationals, while at the same time being a highly attractive incubation environment for the best entrepreneurs in Europe and beyond. What we're signalling here is a whole structure, an international energy research structure, centred at first in Cork, but involving, crucially, our colleagues in Dublin and in Limerick and in Galway, that actually does exactly what we're saying about, brings together industry, government, universities to actually learn how we do this. How do we reduce our energy consumption? How do we cut out the carbon? That's our task, that's the research task that we're focusing on. And I believe in actually solving the problems here in what David Parekh, I think, has said is a country, a small country with the flexibility of the startup, but the scale of a country, with the lessons we learn here solve our problems in energy, our challenges, but then also give us an opportunity to sell the, the solutions to the rest of the world. That's what we're doing. Energy policy is absolutely focused here and elsewhere on first and foremost efficiency, not wasting. That's the most important, it's sometimes it's not as sexy as the new technology, the new energy power systems, but actually it's the most important first thing you do. And secondly, for this country, we have in our development of renewables the huge potential to tap into our wind power, to go out into our oceans and collect some of the energy that is there. It's an international energy research centre that will not just involve UTC, but I'm committing for it to pushing sort of as many companies, other companies on a collaborative basis to make it work. The government is commissioning a budget of 20 million for the next four years to facilitate and underpin the Energy Research Centre. We expect immediately there will be about 50 jobs out of that on top of the jobs that are announced here today. But really the long term prospect is, as it says, that acorn, that sapling going into a very large tree that puts us in Ireland at the centre of this new economy that every economy in the world is looking to develop. And that makes us a smart people. And I think not in a kind of smart aleck way, but just in a feeling it will feel good to live in a natural way where we're not polluting the environment. It will feel smart to live in a way that the world is limited in the resources. So we use less to get more.